The Roof Geometry tab is where you can specify information about the roof, and the program figures out the pitch, spans, and loads for either a hip or valley beam for you. In this video, you'll learn about what you need to enter on this tab. Here, you pick which type of beam you are sizing. These fields let you specify the loading for the roof, including the type. This should be included in your plan documents. If the beam will have an intermediate support, check on the Include checkbox. Then pick which wall to dimension that support from. The graphic to the right will update to include that dimension. Pick the support type at the high end. The program will always assume a bottom support at the low end. In the graphic, enter the roof slope and side lengths. Once you've entered any three values, the fourth value will be automatically calculated and entering one overhang value will automatically calculate the other. Also enter a dimension for the intermediate support if there is one. At any time, if you want to start over, click Clear Roof Values. This will only clear the input for slopes and dimensions. Once you've filled in this tab, the program calculates the member pitch, which is displayed on the Member Info tab. The other tabs, such as spans and supports, will enable after the roof geometry information is complete. You can then finish entering the details about the member. Since the program calculated the span lengths and the location of the supports, those fields are disabled. But you can fill in details about the supports like type and material. Loads were also calculated for you, but you can add additional loads if necessary. If you want to manually specify the pitch, spans, and loading for the member, you can click Enable Load Editing. That will remove the Roof Geometry tab and enable everything. Like on other tabs, you can save defaults for the Roof Geometry tab. Select the most commonly used options and click Save as Default. For members, ForteWeb saves the defaults for each member type, so new members of the same type get created with these selections. Saving defaults can save you time by setting up your jobs, levels, or members the way you want them. And if you ever need to reset these defaults, go to Settings and click Reset All Job Defaults. If you need more information about the Roof Geometry tab, launch help or chat with someone on our support team.